Hello, everybody. Welcome to our presentation. My name is Andy Rodriguez, and I'm going to be reviewing the outline of the NERS uh, online course that we are preparing. The name of the online course will be the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. Basically, what we're looking for is just to get some tips and feedback from the group members or what topic would you like to see in the course. You also will be able to register and participate during the creation of the course. You will see in the comment section of this live screen, the registration page, please follow it. And now we're gonna start our presentation. The idea is that during the course, we're gonna be addressing the topics. Um, the first uh, section of the course will be what is the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. And what we can see there, we are planning to include topics like what is the program, have an overview of the Rural Pilot Program, the elements that are included in this new program. Also, we'll be talking about the eligibility requirements for potential immigrants to participate and benefit from this program. We also will see another lecture talking about the participating communities in the program. We're gonna learn how to create a profile and the requirements to do that. We're also gonna understand the importance of accepting a job offer and the step that you need to, to do in order to accept the job offer. Also, how to prove that you intend to live in the community that participate in the immigration pilot program. And also we're gonna explore the step-by-step -step of how to receive and apply for a community recommendation. So that's basically for that uh, section. And we're gonna see some kind of video sharing practice where we can find out where do you want to live and work in Canada. And that lecture will explain how to uh, find that information. A section will talk about and focus on basically how to apply for the Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program. We will be talking about in one of the lectures the language test requirements for the program, educational credential assessment, how to do it, your work experience, how to prove your work experience for the program. Also, we will learn how to understand what is the NOC, the National Occupational Classification, how to use it, and why, why it's important for this rural and the immigration pilot program. Also, we we'll learn how to use the NOC matrix. We're gonna walk you through the step of how to create a MyCIC account, and how to register for the job bank and how to look for jobs in the job bank. So that those are the lessons that we will include in the, in the second section. We're gonna have also another section talking about how to apply for recommendation from a designated economic development organization, ADO. All the different communities are gonna participate in the program. For example, North Bay in Ontario, Sudbury in Ontario, Timmins in Ontario, so St. Mary in Ontario, Thunder Bay, Andong in Manitoba, Altona Green Line in Manitoba, Ujo in Saskatchewan, Arrest Home in AB, Alberta, Vernon in BC, British Columbia, and West Connecticut Trail, Castlegar, Rusland, Nelson in BC. So these are the, the communities that are gonna be participating in the pilot program. And we're gonna be learning how to apply for the recommendation for each of those communities. So this is it's gonna be a very intense uh, section. We also will see a section talking about the Canadian labor market and how to understand the Canadian labor market and how can you prepare to look for jobs in the Canadian labor market. We're gonna start with the election talking about how to create a job market report, how to find your occupational profile, 
another lecture will address the part of how to use the Working Canada tool, how to prepare your Canadian resume and cover letter, and how to get a reference letters, and what are the elements that you need to include in the resume, the cover letter, and the reference letter in order to call the attention of Canadian employers. We also will learn in another lecture how to do interviews through online because most of the time you live outside Canada, you're going to have to have an interview with the employer through an online medium, Skype, uh, Zoom, uh, all these different choices. So you need to follow some strategies and best practices in order to do uh, well in the interview. We're also going to include a lecture uh, on recommended job sites in Canada that as an immigrant and um, foreign worker you can use in order to look for jobs in those communities. We also have a lecture on how to use the job scan tool in your job search. This is a very important tool that you can use in order to enhance your resume. We also will address the topic of Indeed, the website that is a job aggregator that can help you find jobs faster. Also, we're going to address the topic of the LinkedIn, how to have a profile LinkedIn, how to use it as part of your strategy. Also, another not so known but very important tool is called Magnet. We're also going to address that topic and how can you use Magnet also to reinforce your job search in Canada. We will talk about the Canadian hidden job market, how to approach the hidden job market, and how to network in Canada. Another section that we're planning to address is how to apply for a permanent residence. And the lecture we're going to include will be what are the required documents for PR application for the employer and community point of view? What are the required documents for PR application in the point of view of the applicant? What do you need? How to prove your work experience when you're applying for a permanent resident? What is the medical exam? What do you need? The step you need to get it done? And how to find those authorized practitioners in your home country to do the exam? You also will end the step to get a police certificate and a criminal background check for your permanent resident application. You will learn about the settlement funds and what is LICO and how to meet the proof of funds in order to fulfill the requirements for the permanent resident application. And eventually we'll address the topic of how to send your application. And another topic that we will be covering in, in another section will be how to apply for a work permit, especially the work permit that is related to this pilot program. We will see a lecture talking about the one-year work permit. Another topic will cover work permit for spouses and common law partners. How to apply for a work permit in Canada, from outside Canada. And the importance of the biometrics, how to get it done the requirement for photos, how to check if your application has been received, that's another topic we will cover, and how to check your processing times. And some inadmissibility issues that may arise when you apply for a work permit. So basically, those are the main topics that we will cover during this new course that we're going to develop. There's another bonus topic that deal with the sermon services that you might need for the, the application. And also another, to another section that we're also planning to create will be one for the finances sources for immigrants. So once you come to Canada, if you have to pursue to, to accredite your profession, to practice in a regular profession in Canada, what organization can provide you with funds or loans that can help you to do that? Those are going to be two extra sections that we will be include in, in the course. So now I would like you to basically give us your feedback in the group, in the comment section, any question you have right now or any idea or another topic that you would like to see in the course, please just add it in the comments and we'll be happy to consider that. If you have any question, please just go there. You can also share this information with people in Facebook and in other network. And that way you can uh, make people aware that they can participate in this in the development of this course. So remember to register for the course. And in that course down there in the comment, 
you can register and that way you can get benefit as a beta group uh, member. It's been a pleasure to be with you. Just a very quick live stream. Uh, we hope we'll see you soon. And we will continue following the questions in the section of the group.